Yeah, so the, the first synthetic polymer was uh, actually uh, derived entirely from, um, from non-synthetics. It was derived using cellulose, cotton fiber, and camphor. And it was invented by a John Wesley Hyatt back in 1869, inspired by a New York uh, firm's offer of $10,000 to anyone who could provide a substitute for ivory because they were running out of ivory because of the growing popularity of the game of billiards, which I think is... Uh... <laughs> I can understand that because I play pool and I, I'm quite addicted to it. So I can definitely understand it being a craze. And also chess. Maybe chess was also popular at the time. I know those used to be made out of uh, was it ebony and ivory. Yeah, and then you've got your pianos because they're also ebony and ivory. I thought it was chess, so I've learned something new today. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it. We had such a reliance on materials found in nature um, because synthetics were only in their infancy. I think the only synthetics that we rarely had during that time were like glass and metals that we had mined and refined. I, I did think about um, things like rubber because it's like a sap, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say that would, is that, I don't know, is that a kind of plastic? I guess it's a... So that's actually not rubber, rubber. Okay, so rubber as we understand it now is not from the rubber tree and is not made from sap. It's made uh, artificially using, uh, you know, plastic technology. But yes, yeah. you do get natural rubber um, that is definitely from from a uh, from a sap, um, and not from a whale. But, <laughs> and not from a whale. Yeah, <laughs> man. If if whales if whales were our only form of plastic, we would have gotten rid of them a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we would feel a lot worse about the situation. Right, but so with with all these with all these plastic things that we have around us right now, right, all the plastics are different. Like this cable over here, it's a very like malleable plastic. This cup is quite hard. The um, the screen of your phone is actually probably a very very hard plastic polymer, and that's what makes plastic so useful. And plastic, the word originally means like pliable and easily shaped. And uh, that's essentially what makes plastic so useful is that we can change specific characteristics of it. Um, so the discovery of this was obviously like revolutionary because for the first time in human history, manufacturing wasn't like constrained by the natural resources we had available. We didn't have to make billiard balls out of, uh, out of ivory. We can make them out of you know, plastic. We didn't have to make, you know, dashboards for for the automobile, which was just coming into vogue out of wood and steel, because we could make the glove compartment, you know, out of plastic. And that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm.